Hello ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Quick here and today we are painting Frodo from Lord of the Rings, a painting that has been requested more times than I can remember. Um, it's always Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings or Doctor Who. Um, so this is Frodo. The concept of this painting is one of the publicity stills, the very famous ones of Frodo looking at the ring. But I wanted to get the feel of when he goes into the um, ring world, uh, when you know when, when it all goes a bit blue and swirly and he gets a bit confused. So um, that's the idea. I want Frodo appearing out of this uh, blue, purpley, white mist that he's in. I'm gonna make it a bit chaotic, a bit messy, and see what happens. So uh, here is Elijah Wood as Frodo. So here I am. I'm getting ready, but I'm rolling up my sleeve. That's what you do. Uh, as you can see, the canvas has got like a, a lot of purple and white splattered over it, or like sort of overbrushed. That's because there was an old painting on here I didn't like, so I went over it. What I'm doing first is picking out Frodo's face, just getting it outlined. Uh, there I'm using brown. This is uh, emulsion to get a nice chalky flat effect. Um, the the idea here is to get 3D by adding the dark brown and goes into the light. I'm just figuring out my color range there. And then going over the whole thing uh, with black to redefine his face as an acrylic black, so it's got more, a bit more of a shine to it. Uh, the um, <clears throat> the skin tones are sort of a browny, uh, browny yellowy, um, which works quite well as skin. If you do skin as pink, it looks a bit stupid. Um, the drips going down the canvas are uh, just experiments, really, see what it looks like, but it didn't really work. I changed it later on. And now I'm adding in another mid tone here. This mid tone is a browny, but with a lot of uh, orange, a lot of yellow in it, uh, just to give it a bit more of a brighter feel to make it a bit alive. I didn't want it too brown, it was looking a bit sepia. Uh, then we're adding some green for the tunic, um, but that green gets darkened later on because that's more of a frog green. and It doesn't really look very good, does it? Um, more definition on his face, just again building up the layers. You've got the dark brown going up to the white. Uh, that white will be the nose right on the edge, uh, which is the highlight, so that will really give it the 3D effect. Nothing too complicated. It's the pop art. It's the, the style I do. And then I decided to do his lip red, which was a mistake. Uh, that gets changed later on. And you can really see his face coming together now. It's 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 softening it out, softening out, flattening down uh, because uh, all the tones are there now. And you can really see Elijah's face looking down the shape of it. Uh, more definition with brown, uh, black, um, and then trying to do the hand. The hand I did the composition a bit wrong. You can see that I can't really fit in his bottom finger, which um, I knew as I was drawing. I thought I think this might be a problem. Turns out it was. Um, and then just doing the same same color palette as his face and defining it again with the black and getting all these drips and this is where I'm starting to do this uh, cross hatching and this drippingness to try to make the background get that that uh, sort of feel that I was on about when he goes into the ring world the um, the misty confusion uh, abstraction uh, sorting out the lip there uh, now I'm going in with just a flat brush with purple and doing lots of uh, swoops uh, to bring in the uh, background purple and white into the foreground of the black and sorting out the hand. Uh, this is all to get that that weird effect that he gets when he goes into the ring world and then add in more black to push it all back and make it all tie together. Uh, to get it tied together was very important because I didn't want them to look too separate. Uh, I'm going in now with spray paint just to add some more lines, get his soft lines in there. Uh, all different shades of purple. That looks white but it's actually purple. Uh, this gives it, um, you've got the two flex then you've got the flex of spray paint and the flex of normal paint. I'm using a big fat um, paint pen here again to redefine it, put more swoops in and slowly but slowly bring together the background and the and Frodo himself so it all looks like one painting opposed to two separate styles. I wanted to blend them together. Uh, flicking paint now, just putting paint on the end of my fingers and flicking it in there. Again to tie it all together we're bringing the black into Frodo's face and then I'm bringing out the skin tones of Frodo's face into the background so it's all bleeding instead of um, blending with a paintbrush which you would normally do I'm just using abstraction and flicks to uh, bring it all together here a few days later where it's dried and you can really see uh, the texture in it now and just trying to sort out the um, balance of the abstraction and uh, trying to get the ring I'm trying to make the ring look like it's exploding uh, in the uh, the ring world and adding little dots and um, What's that there? So yeah, it's little dots to make it all tied together. And there it is, roughly finished. Uh, that was pretty quick. And here he is, all done. You can really see the detail there. Uh, the All the swooshes and the splats and the dots and what have you, all bringing together the pop art and the abstract of Frodo's face and making it all tying together, hopefully. And uh, then we go right down, and there he is, all in one. Um, pretty damn happy, though. I think he's come out really well. Um, 
If you want to see more details on that painting, visit this link here. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave any suggestions down below for the painting you would like to see. I'm doing one more Lord of the Rings, which is on the easel now of Gladriel. And that's going to be very different to this one. Uh, this was a more of a chaotic one of the, the ring world, like I said. Uh, the one in Gladriel is going to be much softer, much more uh, quiet. Um, so, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.